everyone. Yeah, I'm back. I know it's been a long time. Oh, I don't. I just have not been able to buckle down and get to work on editing videos. It's a busy time of year, you know, with the holidays. Once Halloween rolls around, it just seems to race on through. And today is actually December second. So what this vlog is, I actually filmed, you know, the intro clips and the explanation clips that I do throughout videos. I did that. Uh, a couple weeks ago already planning to put this thing out and and still never got around to it so i'm just jumping on here right now in the current present day today is actually december 2nd can't believe it it's almost 60 degrees outside it's crazy put my decorations up um a few days ago um so i feel good about that i didn't do too much i didn't go hog wild i went a lot more crazy last year i didn't feel like doing it this year i just put up the amount that i like and I'm happy with it. <laughs> um, I got a pot of soup on the stove. I got my sourdough starter rising. I'm about to make that batter in about an hour. Yes, I still make bread. I, I bake bread all the time now. It's really the only bread that I eat is what I do myself. That's really how easy it is, folks, if you get into it. Uh, and Jake loves it too, so, you know, it's just part of the routine. Oh, what is it? What is there to say? I don't know. Just explaining this video again. It's just one of these videos where I put stuff together. There's a lot of stuff in here from 54 Below, the last one. Um, well, not a lot, but I keep taking out more and more. This, these vlogs get to be so long, but I, I had planned to put the 54 Below stuff out much sooner, so I've thrown it in there. Anyway, it's a little of this, a little of that. I hope you like it. Hello, welcome to my next vlog. Um, I'm just sitting here. It's a couple days after the third show at 54 Below. It's a beautiful sunny day, which <laughs> with what's going on in the world right now. Anyway, <laughs> I have got myself a cup of chamomile tea, chamomile lavender tea with lavender honey. It came on the end of this wooden thing which was a gift from April. You know, you guys know April, the writer of the song October. And she always gives gifts. She came to the third show and had a bag of different presents, presents for Mozart, presents for the dog, presents for me. And that tea was in there. So thank you, April, so too much. So since I was talking about that, I thought I would also have the chance to mention this, which I'm hoping, Robert, you are watching. I got a very lovely, uh, card in the mail with this note from Robert Spurka um, and this beautiful little bird. I have now a little collection of birds, small, different sizes of birds, things that I have on my kitchen windowsill. And actually, they've all been things that have been given to me. I think I only bought well, one of them. Um, anyway, it's very pretty. And Robert, you sent it because you wanted to thank me for making the vlogs because you found them peaceful and relaxing and a way to get away from all the craziness in the world, which we all know is going on. I just want to thank you for this. All right, so let's get into it. What is this vlog? <laughs> well, it's kind of long. It's just because it's just a mishmash. I say that word a lot, and it always reminds me of that was my niece's by a kindergarten teacher. Her name was Mrs. Mishmash. I know you maybe have heard me talk about that before. Can you imagine a bunch of five-year-olds who have hard enough time pronouncing things as it is have to call their teacher Mrs. Mish, Mish I can't even say Mrs. Mishmash anyway um, it is a collection of different videos that I've just been putting together you know with the intention of having a vlog at some point so it crosses over a little bit of a period of time um, and hopefully there's something a little bit of something in it for everyone maybe some of you will like certain parts others others of you will be bored by those parts and vice versa so anyway let's just get into it wait I'd have some tea first. So we're starting off with a little bit of trail riding. Just a little. Welcome to my happy place. Yes, I have the Vikings emblem on the shirt. Minnesota. 
Is that funny? I still feel like I'm from Minnesota. Like I'm a Minnesotan. Even though I've lived here in New York way longer than I lived in Minnesota. I got the Eddie monster out today. Work off some of that grass belly. It's so much rain that we've had a lot of grass for much longer than I normally would have. I've been going out every morning, which means they get a lot of calories. Fall is, of course, a beautiful time of year, especially for horses, and I have all these projects I like to do once it gets cooler. So I had some of those nice days doing that, but then I had to get back on the plane because I had a show in uh, near Chicago, Skokie, at the North Shore Performing Arts Center. So here we go, back on a plane. <laughs> much video I'm gonna get this trip because I seem to be forgetting to pick up my phone and film but I'm in the hotel at the Hilton at the airport in Chicago O'Hare and in about 20 minutes gonna get picked up me along with the rest of the guys to go to the venue for our gig at the North Shore Performing Arts Center. So I guess I'll see you there. I keep forgetting the video. Just come over and get some syrup. I'm a terrible vlogger. <laughs> And melted butter. And I keep syrup. forgetting. <laughs> Let's have some biscuits and gravy. Just some light. Yeah. For dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold me over until but, dinner. Uh, yeah. Well, if you ever wondered what pre show looks like, here it is, folks. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Glamorous. Glamorous. Showbiz. <laughs> wow. I know. Aren't you jealous? <laughs> Do you think we have food on the brain? <laughs> That's what the guys are talking about in the car. And then we, here we are, we're all just sitting around waiting for the food to come. <laughs> what? You have show business? Exactly. <laughs> what have you been you doing before joke? internet? Indeed, all of them. Really? Yeah. Years ago. Yeah. yeah. In 1982 or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, well, I was just talking about this with my wife the other day. My dad first told me that joke when I was, you know. Oh, the elephant joke? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did I tell you that? I don't even know if it's funny, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> I told it. That, um, you know, because my parents are older and it's my mom, you know, memory and all that. So mm. my dad told a memory joke that was um, an old couple go to the doctor because, you know, they're having both having memory issues. Mm -hmm. So the <clears throat> doctor tells them, aside from other things, that you should start writing things down. Mm -hmm. So they're back home, and then the wife uh, wants bacon and eggs. So the husband's going to make bacon and eggs. Mm -hmm. Am I telling this right? So she says, so I want scrambled eggs. And he says, okay, I'll make scrambled eggs. Maybe, and she says, maybe you should write that down. No, no, I'll remember. Scrambled eggs. And, uh, oh no, no, it's not eggs. Maybe it's an ice, no, it's yeah. an, sorry. Yes, I should have, I need this. Yeah. No, she wants the ice cream sundae. Okay. So she says. Just checking the temperature back here, guys. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's, ice cream sundae is a little warm. It's, it's a new one. <laughs> it's my first time telling it. Come on, cut me some slack. 
Okay. <laughs> I need a nap. She says, okay, I want ice. I want vanilla ice cream. So maybe you should write that down. No, no, no. Vanilla ice cream. I'll remember. And she says, oh, I'd like some, I'd like some strawberry topping on that. Maybe you better write that down. No, no, I, I can remember. Vanilla ice cream, strawberry on top, strawberry topping. She says, yeah. Oh, and you, I like also some whipped cream, but you gotta write it down. No, no, I'm gonna remember. Vanilla ice cream, strawberry whipped cream, I got it. <coughs> so, oh, and I want a cherry on top. You really gotta write this down. No, no, I'm gonna remember, no problem. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream, strawberry whipped cream, cherry on top, I got it. So he goes to the kitchen. And he comes back with bacon and eggs. And she looks at it and she goes, where's the toast? It's <laughs> actually good. It's That's pretty good, good, right? That was <laughs> Now it's too late. Yeah. You should have gotten our reaction. <laughs> that was very funny. That was good. <laughs> worth, worth the wait. Yeah. I've been in this dressing room many times. <laughs> I remember it. Time to go out and sound check. <laughs> Going the wrong way. <laughs> The same lipstick for, I mean, literally <laughs> the same one. This thing's gotta be, <sighs> it could be 25 years old or more. Seriously. As you get older, you wear less and less makeup. It seems backwards. <laughs> Tomato. Just a few more minutes to show time. These last few minutes seem to always crawl. <laughs> so I have no footage of the actual show because I forgot to tell my friends <laughs> to video, but that's okay. I really wasn't planning to. I've been there is more footage of this show from 54 at the end of this vlog or later in the vlog, so that's not that important. Um, but what I love so much about this trip is that I have some really good friends. Janet and Kevin Peterson that I've known now for years, and they're just the most lovely, lovely people. Um, so I flew in the day before the gig, and we had a really nice dinner, you know, because normally we'll go out after the show, and it's never as much time, um, and it gets quite late, so we, um, we had this relaxing nice dinner early in the evening. And then we did actually go out again after the show, like we always do, to the restaurant across the street, and where we were joined by uh, the three people, three lovely people they had brought with them. And we had a nice time doing that as well. So, yeah, it was a good trip because of them. Well, not just because of them. The audience was fantastic. Hi. Hey, Linda! Here you all are. Uh, just did the show and Peter's here too. <laughs> there we are. We just had a good time. Yeah. Uh, here. Awesome time. <laughs> Well, but, but Linda did an amazing job tonight. <laughs> Fantastic show. How are you doing, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Beautiful show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Linda. Hello. <laughs> Hello, lovely. Hello. Hello. And 
in case you're wondering, Peter was the first one on that clip, and Janet is the Goldie Hawn, last one on there. She's so funny. She's lovely. <laughs> I'm the enthusiastic fan that had the best night it's ever. Goldie Hawn. <laughs> Only Goldie Hawn wish she looked this good still. <laughs>confusing because this next section I'm sitting in the same spot but it's actually the Sunday after I got back from the uh, Skokie concert so try to keep up Chicago thank you actually I should say Skokie and the surrounding area anyone from whoever came to the show last uh, last night you were not last night Friday night 
Today is Sunday. You were fantastic. You you always treat me so so well. We we did a show at the North Shore Center for the Performing Arts where I played before, and I say quite accurately that Chicago was really the first major area that I felt like I started to build a fan base after I left and started exploring out from the Minneapolis area. So you've always been amazing to me, and Friday night was no exception. So thank you, everybody that was there. Decaf. Yep, I'm off coffee again. I know there's a little bit in here, but I'm looking for the brand that has nothing. Apparently there is one. Oh, so good to be home. It's always good to come home after traveling, but especially when there are delays. Making relatively short flights into much, much longer days, but I finally got home to a very soggy New York. All the animals, happy to see me. Jake's out of town. He's in Texas doing a he did a uh, singer-songwriter show last night. Um, so the animals were here waiting for me. Uh, the horses, I'm sure, were happy to see me because they're now out onto the pasture, which they don't get to go out on when I'm not here. They just have their paddock. And, of course, the dogs have to spend the majority of the day in the house, which, you know, they don't, they're not loving, I'm sure. And then there's Mozart, who doesn't get out of his cage at all, so... I'm about to do that. I just wanted to say it's good to be home. That's all. Oh, I would give her a real cup of coffee, but I'm not going to do it. So I'm just going to take this cup, take my bird, take the dogs, and go and sit outside. Mm -hmm. So I had three days of playing around here at home, and then I was off to do the very first night of 54 Below in Manhattan. There I am, back in the very familiar place, 54 Below's dressing room. Just got here, about to go down for sound check. Have a little blackberry elderberry tea. Let's see what I got. This is Jake's very first CD. So excited for him. He's gonna make his first sale tonight, but he doesn't know that. Alan wants to be the first one, so she's gonna be the first one to buy Jake's new CD. All right, we were supposed to start start at three. It's a little after three, so. But I just bet they're not quite ready, so <clears throat> not going down yet. Maybe a few more minutes. Drink a little more tea. Take this bag out, it's getting too strong. If you're looking for a good herbal tea, I highly recommend this one. Tazo, Tazo, however you pronounce it, I'm not sure, but it is blackberry elderberry. It's really good, really good. Feeling a little nervous because I changed the order up a little bit. So I don't have that comfort factor. And we're putting in two things I've never done before. So, of course, that makes me nervous, so hopefully it'll go all right. Hopefully my voice will be all right. It kind of looks like we're discussing some really technical musical thing, doesn't it? But we're actually talking about 
is which songs I'm going to be sitting on the piano for. <laughs>
section. <laughs> it's my first time putting something like this in. This is for the foodies out there who always want to see me make some food. I don't know why. Why is it we like to watch people cook? I don't know. What am I doing today? Well, because I have these apple trees and I have so many apples, I am making apple pie bars. Something I found online, it looked really easy. Jake loves apple pie, I like it. I love apple crisp. So it's basically kind of like a combination of apple crisp, apple pie. Because they come in bars, so. Old fashioned oats. Glasses. Nothing too precise here. Ah, oh, I forgot the brown sugar. Just gonna do three of these. Like that. Mm -hmm. Unsalted butter. Okay, so now we get our hands dirty. I don't know if you're like me, but in my Instagram, <laughs> it seems to be the only, only things I save are just these funny clips, ridiculous funny clips, or food recipes, which I think I'm gonna make. And most of the time I never get around to making any of them. And it starts. I only have half the amount. I think I need another stick. Is one stick 16? Or is it only eight? I didn't take out my glasses. I was wrong. And initially, it's two sticks. That's why pie is so fattening. A lot of butter. What Mozart? Okay, I thought of that was a whistling sound. Anytime you hear something that sounds like a whistle, that's from what hearing me. Just get with your hands, get dirty. Parchment paper. Okay, and then I gotta bake this. I said 15. Now we gotta cut some apples. My apples are all different sizes and shapes. <laughs> family coming to visit and I want it to be perfect. I put this on the top, spread this out evenly, and then we put the rest of the stuff on. I think just for good measure, I'm going to add a little bit more butter. Butter makes the world go round. that baby in the oven. And there it is. We'll see how long I can wait. <laughs> and now we wait. 35 minutes maybe? See, I haven't eaten yet. I'm doing intermittent fasting again. I'm only eating between one and, well I was doing one and seven, but now I'm trying to actually do one and six. Um, so I'm hungry.
And it's, what time is it? It's 12.30 right now, so that means it'll be timed perfectly for me to have them when they come out of the oven. Well, they're supposed to wait. They say wait an hour. I'm gonna have to wait. If you're wondering why I have this funny cur curtain rod hanging here, the house will be full. I'm gonna have somebody sleeping on my pull-up couch in my living room, so I hung this temporary thing that I can easily take down with these curtain panels so I can put it across, give them a little bit more privacy, so. All right, the moment we've been waiting for. Here it is. It's a bar, it's still a little too warm, but I couldn't wait. So, it's time to try. Yep, it's good. Try it, you guys, it's easy. Easy to pack around, no dealing with fussy pie crusts, it's good. Well, three days went like that, and in no time it was time to go back to 54 below for the second day. That's the time, till showtime, trying to warm up. Yeah. 
next night I had to come right back to the city because Jake was having the debut of his brand new CD at, as you know, Arlene's Grocery, because I know you saw me put out the ads for that. Um, last thing I wanted to do was go back into the city. My voice was tired after the second night, and I knew where we were going was going to be loud, and I would be talking over loud stuff, and not necessarily the best thing for me, but of course I had to go. I had to support Jake, and I was really, really happy I did because it was his best show to date. I was so excited for him. The crowd absolutely loved him. I had family there that had been vis were visiting from Minnesota. My niece also lives here, came with her husband. And um, it was just great. It was a really fun night and I also had friends with me. My new friend from up around my neck of the woods here, Rose. Actually, I'll, I'll insert a little snippet here we, so you can meet Rose because I don't have any footage or pictures that we took that uh, night with Jake, but we went to a fundraiser, a big fundraiser at my horse trainers, where they raised a lot of money for a good cause. Oh, and a beautiful farm. So anyway, here's Rose. Say hi, Rose. Hi. Everybody meet Rose. How are you? <laughs> and I drove in together, which was nice, and my, we picked up my friend Gail from the city on the way, and we just had a great time. I don't have any more than footage of that than Jake because I only took that tiny little snippet because I knew that a professional photographer, Lori Zapata, was there, who you might remember her. She's done a lot of stuff for me, but she's a wonderful photographer and a great lady, and she came and filmed the show that night, so I'm waiting to get that footage. So at some point, I'll put out another vlog where I'll include that stuff because it'll look much better and sound much better, I'm sure. So proud of you, Jake. I've had some lunch. Um, actually it's breakfast because I'm doing intermittent fasting so I had some avocado toast and now I'm washing it down with a lavender shortbread because this is one of the gifts that April gave me so I'm having that with another cup of decaf and another present that I wanted to mention I got several things from my lovely uh, voice student and now friend Gianna Grasso and her mother Terry Grasso came to the, the Wednesday, no, the Saturday night show at 54 Below. And they always bring me gifts. And then they gave me this, which, uh, and a bag for like makeup, which is really cool with horsey stuff. I guess whenever they see horse stuff, they think of me. So they also got me this little wooden plaque. It's called Bless This Barn. So I'll be putting that up at my barn later. Anyway, thank you guys. Very sweet. And April, these are darn good. Love will abide Take things in stride Sounds like good advice But there's no one at my side Time washes clean Love's wounds and seed. That's what someone told me, but I don't know what it means. Cause I've done everything I know to try and change your mind. And I think I. Long, long time Cause I did
Beyond 